Hey too, Puffy Wire Chicken here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Deadpool Play Arts Kai figure. This thing is going to be awesome. I'm really excited to get into it. First, I'm going to go over the box, and then the accessories, and the figure itself. But first, I just want to say that I got this figure at camarts.biz, and I would definitely recommend going there to get yours, because I think it's $10 cheaper than retail. Uh, retail, I think, is $150. So you should go ahead and get that there. The uh, link is in the description and at the end of the video for good authentic figures um, for good prices but anyways pretty solid looking box I really like it it's got more of a comic feel than the average um, variant Play Arts Kai box so that's kinda cool nice little effect on it it does open up here with magnets in the corners there just some about Deadpool in this figure or whatever and there's uh, a window for viewing the figure itself so anyways I'm gonna get into the accessories now Alright, so moving into the accessories, we have the Play Arts Kai stand, which I'm not going to review in this figure review because I hate reviewing that stand because I don't really like the stand too much. But I made a separate review just for the stand, and I'll put that link in the description too. I think it's only a couple minutes, so you can watch that if you're interested in knowing about the stand. Anyways, it comes with this assortment of extra hands. That one at the top is just uh, kind of like that, and there's a little bit of slit right there in the where his thumb and pointer meet for holding these... Let's get that out of there. Lighter background. They'll hold these. Um, I guess these are throwing knives or little daggers or whatever. Uh, and those can just punch out of that piece of plastic right there. There's also a pair of hands open, kind of like this. And then a fist pair with the thumbs up. A fist pair that he has in his hands right now. Closed pair, fist with a pointer finger. And then, um, let's see here. There's an open, that pretty much that hand, but open uh, for holding the swords or the gun. And then also another fisted pair, but open for uh, also holding stuff. Anyways, these two extra heads. The one that he has on is similar to this one. This is kind of a squinting head. Uh, the one he has on, I'm pretty sure one of the eyes is lower a little bit, kind of like he's questioning or doing his little Deadpool thing. Uh, this one's just like the open look. We got this sweet gun here. Let's see if we can focus on that. Pretty cool gun. Nice detail on it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't cock or anything, so... Oh, well. This awesome uh, giant knife right here. And that is... Um, that can go into his boot right there in the side, so that's kind of cool. And then, of course, the back right here, his uh, sheath, double sheath, that's on a joint, so that's pretty cool. It can come out there, as you see. But it's on a joint, it can uh, twist and move around, so that doesn't really get in the way of anything. Um, and the swords just go in and out, just like that. Pretty sweet. So anyways, on to the figure itself. So far, I really like this figure. Um, I will say, it doesn't stand too well on its own. Uh, actually, I haven't gotten it to stand at all on its own. But anyways, there, over here, let's focus out there. There is the figure in all of its glory. Um, I'm going to take off this sheath just for uh, going over the figure purposes. But anyways, like I said, it does have that joint there, so that's good. Anyways, the head, it, there's two uh, joints up there. Head and neck can go up and down. Twist, you can really get anything you want out of that. These parts right here, the shoulder pads are rubber, so they don't really restrict him as far as coming up. Um, here, make it a little better lining. Anyways, they can twist, go all the way up, do all that good stuff. Um, let's see here. Yeah, they twist right where the red meets the black right there. Elbows bend. Hands can move. Do anything you want with them. And those are super easy to exchange, too. You just pop them out just like that and then uh, put the new hand on. Anyways, he does have a stomach and chest joint, so you can get a lot of movement there. Move them around, do whatever you want. Legs do move a pretty decent amount there see about out they can go a pretty good amount out too uh, this belt and the like, middle uh, groin area is kind of rubbery so those uh, don't usually get in the way the knees are on double joints so those get a ton of movement there see the double joint right there in the knee with a nice little I guess knee pad to cover that up feet go up and down or down and up I guess is how I showed it twists do all that good stuff a little bit of side to side action and then, of course, the toes bend, which is always one of my favorite parts about action figures. Just a little extra detail. But anyways, overall, this figure is pretty awesome. It's, um, if I can, there we go. Hey, fix the standing thing. 
I was just about to say, if I can fix the standing. But anyways, uh, stands, decent. Uh, accessories are really cool. The sculpt and paint job are really good on it, as Plarets Kai usually are. As you can see, there's just a lot of detail, which totally explains why they're $150 figures. But like I said, you can get that for, I think, with the shipping including, it's about $140, maybe a little bit under $139 something at camarts.biz and that link is here at the end of the video and also in the description make sure to get that and also please make sure to subscribe so i can keep doing these reviews i've got a lot of stuff on pre-order so there's going to be a lot of reviews coming please subscribe comment like share let me know what you think and have a good one and thank you for watching